if you enter school, because that's where you start, you start in school. So if you enter school and your values and your beliefs are monitored through programs like Panorama and the Digital Backpack, we've talked about those before, but just in case you weren't here for that, because that was months ago, Panorama is a program which they are implementing in schools now, which will monitor uh, your kid's stress level, uh, his beliefs, his values, and um, how he feels about school. This is about getting to a deeper emotional feeling belief type level. And they take these tests, which monitor, track, trace, and store them in a digital profile for the kids. There's also another program called the Digital Backpack, which takes some of that information along with all of their uh, schooling credentials, their education level, and the things that they've learned store it in a backpack. So when they go and seek employment somewhere, that employer can look through that digital backpack and see how the student has progressed and what their values are, what they believe, what they know, their education level, all these types of things. These are legit programs that they are doing now. And it starts in school. Well, now we're starting to see how that's going to play a part when it comes to finding a job on the outside of school. You see how they're starting to connect now? If you don't have the right values, if you don't have the right beliefs, you didn't go along with the narrative that we wanted you to in school, there's no place for you at this corporation because if we hire you, then we're going to lose money because we're not hiring people that are following along the narrative. You see how this social credit score is they're programming it from school all the way up. Well, now we're getting to the up part of that. All throughout your education, they will track your mindset. And if you're good enough for the job that you want when you leave school. But now that same system is being applied to work. So you've got Panorama. you got the digital backpack. There's some other ones out there um, that go through school. But now they're doing it for work. This is your social credit system where your own beliefs are now monitored and they will affect if you can participate in society. We see the companies already getting involved with this. And so if we go through some of these, we can see a few of them. I'm sure some of them you guys don't recognize. These are larger companies that probably own a lot more other companies and whatnot. Um, but you can see some of them. Of course, you got the the ones that we know, the new division, 29K, x -Cruise. You got the BMW Foundation, Nobel Peace Center, Templeton World Fund, uh, Fund right there. That one is interesting because I've talked about Templeton, John Templeton, uh, in the End Times New Age series and how he was heavily, heavily involved with giving out awards and grants and money to anybody who's going along with a new age belief. And here they are with one of the institutional partners, but you can see some of those, they might be a little too small to see, um, but there's some ones on there. There's another page here, some collaborating partners. You get Ikea, Google, Stena is one on there. Volvo um, is another one. Houdini is a big one on that as well. There's some other ones as well, but more and more company. And these aren't all of them. These are just a few um, that they're they're promoting on their page. But there's more and more companies because you don't even see Apple on there. And they were specifically talking about Apple. So this is getting pushed out into a lot of these corporate groups. Already 100 corporations are sponsoring this thing. And they are growing with colleges, actively jumping on board. Of course, one of the first ones was Harvard. We've talked about how Harvard's all wrapped up in all this stuff too. Now, how do they do this? We understand what they're doing with Panorama and the digital backpack in school. How do they apply that to your work? How are they going to bring that about? Well, your digital ID and your digital wallets are going to be the key, of course, because those are required to all this stuff. And to attach your work evaluation on your values will be stored into your wallet. There's this thing that, well, I'll just let you watch it and we can talk about it. Meet the ledger.
Your ledger account tracks everything you've ever learned in units called EduBlocks. Each EduBlock represents one hour of learning in a particular subject. Anyone can grant EduBlocks to anyone else. You can earn EduBlocks from a formal institution like a school or your workplace. But you can also earn them from individuals or informal groups like a community center or an app. The ledger makes it possible for you to get credit for learning that happens anywhere, even when you're just doing the things you love. Your profile displays all the EduBlocks you've earned. Employers can use this information to offer you a job or a gig that matches your skills. We'll keep track of all the income your skills generate and use that data to provide feedback on your teachers. When you're choosing a teacher in the future, you may wish to choose the teacher whose students are earning the most income. You can also use the ledger to find investors in your education. Since the ledger is already tracking income earned from each EduBlock, you can offer investors a percentage of your future income in exchange for free learning hours. Our smart contracts make these agreements easy to manage and administer. The ledger is built on blockchain, the same technology that powers Bitcoin and other digital currencies. That means every EduBlock that has ever been earned is a permanent part of the growing public record of our collective learning and working. This thing is brilliant. It's absolutely evil. But for what they want it to do, it's brilliant. Because how they're doing this is they're combining your work level and the money and comparing it to what you can get from a workplace or a school. And this works flawlessly if it goes out in a big scale because you're going to have corporations and schools that are only willing to take on people who will benefit their corporation and you're going to have people who are only going to work for places that's going to benefit them in, in some type of way. Anybody else who does not fall in line with the value belief level that they want, they're not going to A, get hired or B, they're not, employees aren't going to want to work for that place. This system is the perfect automatic filter to make sure every workplace, every school, and every person is falling in line with the narrative they want because everybody else will be thrown to the wayside because nobody's going to want to interact with them. This is actually a very brilliant system. It is dystopian and evil as all get out. But if they put something, and I'm not saying that that's going to be the exact system. That's just one of the examples uh, that comes from the Institute for the Future. But that is a system where if they come out with something like it, look out. Um, that is something I could definitely see being a part of this B system, without a doubt. So keeping a full ledger of your learning, your accomplishments, your values, and keep in mind, they're already doing this for kids from first grade on up with their panorama and their digital backpacks and stuff. This will just get folded right into that as soon as they start going to college and into the workplace. And it will be kept in your digital profile, which will be stored in your digital wallet. This part of equity, and that's what they call equity, is this. This part of the equity, which is found in the SDGs and the IDGs, and is part of the is a tool and a system that is a part of the, I'm not making this up, the Internet of Education. That's right. We've got another one. We've got another one. We have the Internet of Bodies. We have the Internet of Things. And now we've got the Internet of Education. This is legit, guys. Let's check it out. The Internet of Education. What is the Internet of Education and how will it change the way we learn, connect, and work? The Internet of Education is a global shared vision and movement for a learner and employee-centered future where every human on Earth has equitable access. There it is. To quality education and jobs. The IOE 
Internet of Education, is built around 10 guiding principles. Those are the same principles built around uh, SDG principles that galvanize a range of experts and stakeholders in the education and employment space to collaborate for solutions to existing in, uh, inequities using emergent Web3 technologies. We're not going to get into Web3. Um, at this point, it is heavily focused on the use of digital wallets. Digital wallets, as the name implies, are a tool that secures and holds a person's skills and learning records in much the same way uh, as a physical wallet holds our money and credit cards. Using their digital wallet, a person can capture and validate the skills they have and also identify the gaps they have in order to achieve their desired goals. If you want to achieve their desired goals, you must go along with the SDG goals. They can then establish pathways to these goals like a career or learning GPS. Let's keep going. This has the potential to fundamentally change how we think about learning. Imagine, if you will, imagine a future where children can capture their learning experiences in a myriad of different environments. School, community centers, social volunteering, online gaming, caregiving in their family. Those are some of the same ones that we found in the ledger video. Interesting. And that these are assimilated into a single place. The learner can then explore which learning approaches work best for them and equally important, be able to validate their skill attainment to others through different approaches, best suit their preferred method of application, their circumstances and the contents or the context. Wow. There's a little bit more. Hang with me. Imagine a future where educators, now we're flipping it over to the educators or workplace, are able to trace the impact that they have had on a learner's journey, where they can specif specifically identify which teaching methods work best for which students and which approaches are most effective at enabling the students to translate learning into practice. Greater educator development and accountability imagine a future where employees are able to link directly with learners and steer their development directly towards, right here, future employment opportunities, and if necessary, financially incentivize learning cohorts to develop the skills that will be most relevant in the emerging economy. Greater employee employer linkage upstream on skills attainment and less gaps for societal development, less gaps for societal development. This is the type of future we are looking to shape through the internet of education. When you look at the SDGs and they talk about equity, that's what they're talking about. We want you to believe and pursue our goals through this digital tracking and tracing thing. And if you're not learning, believing, or teaching what we want you to, we are going to stunt you from being able to participate in society. Welcome to the Internet of Education. Teachers or employers who don't teach the SDG values don't work. And students and employees that don't display these values don't work. It's the perfect filtering system where it happens automatically. They're not even the ones that are technically in control of it. it. They will filter themselves out through us. We will filter these things out if you want to participate in society on their own. You follow the narrative or you go hungry. Man, that's really starting to sound a lot like what we've been seeing this B system is going to be looking like, haven't we? Hmm. What's fascinating about this is the same principles found in the SEL curriculum, which we've talked about a lot, which is the starting point for the Internet of Education, are the very are very similar to the principles of the IDGs. I mean, they're almost spot on identical. If we take a look at this, these are the five acting principles for the IDGs being relationship to self. What does that sound like? New age to me, right? Inner compass, integrity and authenticity, openness with learning mindset, self-awareness and presence, 
Then you've got thinking and cognitive skills, critical thinking. They talk about critical thinking, but what they just, it's absurd because it's the exact opposite. Don't critical think what we're telling you. Critical think all the things that go against us. That's what they're teaching. Uh, complexity awareness, uh, perspective skills, sense-making, long-term orientation, and visioning. Then you got relating, which is caring for others in the world. You got appreciation, connectedness, humility, empathy, and compassion. Collaborating or your social skills, communication skills, red flag word, co-creation skills, inclusive mindset, and intercultural uh, competence, trust, trust in what? You? Ah. Motivation skills. And then five, acting or enabling change, your courage, your creativity, your optimism, optimism for a dystopian future, and your perseverance. Yeah, you're going to need a lot of perseverance if that's the game that you're going to be playing along with because you're going to be hating yourself and the world that you're living in. So yeah, you're going to need some perseverance for that. So maybe that is a good thing that they'll be teaching that. 